given him uses as a servant to the master, Jesus Christ. Subsequently, subsequently, this is the dilemma. With so many called to the ministry today, amen, the devil got them so afraid of what people would do to them if they tell the truth. <laughs> afraid of losing a job or a position. Afraid of being criticized or rejected. So instead of obeying the dictates of the Holy Spirit, preachers sold us to Jura. That is, preaching the scriptures of the Holy Amen. They entertain and allow entertainment in the Lord's church service. Huh? Preach messages on moral inspiration. Try to get folks all excited and turned on, which only feeds the senses. But the soul remains lost, bound to hell, and destructive. You should pray with me now. Therefore, bear this in mind, bear this in mind. Let's continue to focus attention on the object of the text, that is, the spirit. In 2005, a Gallup poll was conducted to name the and examine the top 10 uh, fears among people in the U.S. And those fears in order were, number one, fear of terrorist attack, fear of fight, spite. Fear of death. Fear of being a failure. Fear of war. Criminal and gang violence. Fears of the future. And being alone. And fears of nuclear war. Uh, in 2008, the book of Bill Tanser analyzed the most frequent inquiries that involve the phrase fear of. And his top ten list of fears included fear of flying, fear of flying, fear of heights, fear of clouds. That's interesting. What's behind the paint? On the cloud face. Fear of intimate relations. Folks afraid to date, marry. And I don't know, in this day and time, that might not be such a bad idea. Fear of death and rejection. Fear of people. Fear of snakes. My mother was definitely afraid of snakes. Fear of failure. And fear of driving. science community as phobias, phobias, uh, which to mention a few is phobias of insects, huh? folks scared of bugs, fears of darkness, claustrophobia, small and tight spaces, fears of social rejection, that is acceptance, fears of public speaking, many of uh, Young man aspiring to pastorate or the ministry has this uh, fear inside. Fear of demons, of ghosts, evil powers. Number one fear, COVID, being that of death. Uh, today, also, ironically, that seems to be some type of mental of unbalanced attraction to the state of fear. Uh, people today flock by the thousands to movies classified as horror films, huh? Reality television receives some of the, <coughs> some of the highest ratings for producing shows like Fear Factors. Hmm? 
or the scariest place on the earth. Once I met a small business owner whose name was actually Mr. R. Fear, although the Lord was first name for anonymity's sake. Mr. R. Fear, that was his name. Uh, in society today, professionals deduce that the most common state of fear can be classified as fear of the unknown or irrational fear. And specialists have formulated in the acrostic for fear false evidence appearing real. F E A R. False evidence appearing real. But all the purpose of this preacher, beloved, the Holy Ghost leading and revealing truth and understanding in order to provide light on the existence of fear in the heart. And how the Bible teaches and you and I to struggle with this spirit and overpower it. Can't play around with this thing. Fight it. Therefore, for your consideration, we wish to examine the subject from three points of argument. One, the first argument, what is fear? What is fear? Where did it come from? And why is it in the world? Then the second point of argument, what does the Bible teach? concerning fear and God. It's a different kind of fear now when it's dealing with God. Or the fear of the Lord. What does the Bible teach concerning that? Then the third, what wet bread come out in? Has the Almighty given to drive out the spirit of fear? Amen. And how, how is this wet To begin, to begin an answer to question one of the first argument, what is fear? We read that the apostle describes fear as a spirit. He says, Paul says, fear is a spirit. That is, if you will, a living entity. A living entity. Fear is a being as opposed to the belief now for the philosophy that fear is an emotion mm -hmm. or a part of the psychological makeup of a man or a woman or your imagination. Now I want you to watch this. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Throughout the Bible, the term describing spirit is the Greek word pneuma. P N E U M A, pneuma. And now uh, this is not to be misconstrued with the Hebrew word ruah or ruach associated with the spirit of fear. Ruah or ruach is not pneuma. Ruah or ruach, which means breath or if you will, that which God used to animate, give life to the first man, Adam. The Hebrew word ruach is not the same as the Greek word pneuma in the New Testament. Pneuma refers to the whole or the entire person of, as in God, Spirit, a total entity, as recorded in the Gospel of John, in chapter 4 and verse 24, which reads, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Are you praying with me? He's not rule. He's not rule. Breath or wind, although he may choose to appear in the form of such 
as he wills, according to Acts, the second chapter, verses 2 through 4. Angels are ministering Numa spirits. The great Holy Ghost is the mighty Numa spirit. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. John, the 16th chapter, at verse 13. Therefore, my friends, therefore, according to the testimony of the word of God, fear is a spirit. Amen. Yes, it's amen. Furthermore, concerning the nature of fear, this entity, the spirit of fear, is not friendly. Yeah. Huh? It's not friendly, it's not polite. And it's not cordial. It does not knock at the door of your heart. It does, it does the blessed Lord Jesus. Uh, but rather it'll kick the door of your heart in. Amen. To gain access to your life and terrorize and ultimately destroy you. Fear have torment. First John, the fourth chapter, verse 18. Fear. Fear is the general in the legions of the devil. You need to pray for them. Next, in addressing the second question of the first argument, which is, where did fear come from? Where did fear come from? The first reference to fear in Scripture is seen in the Septuagint, that is the Greek Old Testament, <clears throat> scroll of the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verses 9 through 10 that reads and the Lord God called Adam mm -hmm. said unto him Adam where art thou and he said to him I heard thy voice as thou walkest in the garden and here it is now here it is and Feared, huh? Mm -hmm. Because I was naked and I hid myself. <laughs> I want you to notice now, I want you to notice how fear was first introduced to humanity. According to Genesis chapter 3, fear was brought into the world by the serpent, the devil, camouflaged, camouflaged as something attractive to lure and to entice with the purpose, underline this, with the purpose and the intent to destroy. Look at the passage of the chapter, Genesis 3, uh, in verses 1 through 19, that's the passage uh, in Genesis, which uh, watch this progression First, the devil comes with a deception that is hiding fear. We read that in verses 1 through 5 of the chapter. Then second comes disobedience on our part that opens the door to fear. That's recorded in verse 6. Amen. Underline that. That's how you let fear in. Uh, then third, once fear is in, it begins to displace peace of mind and separates from fellowship with God. Verses 7 through 11. Then fourth and finally, when fear settles in, it produces a sense of helplessness, huh? Of hopelessness for your situation. While it torments you psychologically, and physically also. And I want you to listen carefully. Unless fear is driven out by the presence and the nature of God, the curse, underline this, the curse of God remains in full effect in your life until the day that you are committed to the ground. Time say we're not able to get into our preach a whole message on that particular section of the verse. 
us the words of Jesus in John in the 10th chapter at verse 10. The thief cometh not but to kill and to destroy. But I, I am come to, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The thief that Jesus refers to in the verse is the devil. But the Holy Spirit reveals the deepness of the words of Jesus in the verse. Sure, I'm talking about. A thief, when he comes to break in and to commit a robbery, he never does so without a tool. Is that right? Uh, Doesn't matter if it's one tool or if it's a bag of tools. A thief always has a tool to break in and enter. Amen? Amen. Now, the same, my friend, the same, is what the Spirit reveals in the verse. When the devil comes to break into your mind, he uses his number one tool. It's fear. <laughs> yeah, man, fear. The purpose of fear is to ultimately kill you. Now you watch this, watch this. In the Wikipedia, the subject of fear is multidimensional, uh, covering these areas. Uh, fear is related to one's own death. Watch the association. The death of others. Fear of the unknown after death. Fear of obliteration and uh, fear of the dying process. Notice fear all surrounds, surrounded by the concept of death. Mm -hmm. Notice now the cunning of the devil's use of fear. Uh, fear must first be planted in the mind. Paul told you to focus your thinking on the worst <laughs> that could happen. Amen. You get afraid of it. All you can think about is the worst that's going to take place. Can't be what next is the worst that could happen. Huh? Uh, fear in itself, however, has no power. Fear don't have no power. Especially, listen, especially in the life of a believer. Fear don't have no power in the life of a believer. Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus said this. Go speak it to the original disciples. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and on scorpions. And of all the power of the enemy, praise God Almighty, and nothing, nothing. By any means shall hurt you. Fear don't have no power, I'm telling you. But its ability, listen carefully, <clears throat> its ability to suggest and manipulate mm -hmm. your thought activity is absolutely phenomenal. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis. Chapter 6 and at verse 5. Genesis records this. Uh, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination, underline that word imagination, of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. This 